So today we're looking at Reflect. It's a note-taking application that has a blend between a traditional note-taking application and a PKM tool. It's been getting a lot of the note-taking application market pretty impressed. And in today's video, we're gonna give you a review, whether it's right for you, what it is, and also the features inside it. I'm excited to dive in. Let's dive into Reflect. So this application is available on a few devices, not all of them at the moment. It's available on Mac, iOS, and it does have a Chrome extension and a Safari extension, I believe. So it's wildly not available. It's not like on all of the platforms yet, but it is seemingly growing quite fast in its development. The application itself, as I said, is a blend between that really traditional PKM tool and a traditional note taker. So it's sort of compatting and alternatives are Obsidian, LogSeq, and probably Mem, as applications that are a similar fit. Now, in terms of its features, Reflect has a few decent ones. It has the ability to obviously capture notes, but it also has the ability to associate them to a day. So we mow that now as daily notes. It also has a unique calendar integration that helps you to create a note on a specific event that is coming up in your calendar. You also have the ability to scan your brain, which is essentially just graph view inside a Reflect, which gives a great 3D look at how you're creating your notes. And also it does have great pinning and external tag abilities, which is really nice. The tag abilities in it are also quite unique because they are similar to what I'm talking about recently called object-based note-taking, where you can associate something to an object but in this, it's just tags with a decent filtering setup. So Reflect also presents some unique abilities like end-to-end -end encryption and also Kindle Sync, which allows you to bring in your books you've read and it automatically connects them with the author, creating a sort of nice structure from the get-go. And within some of your notes, you can naturally create checklist items, which is great for just simple notes, especially when you're associating them to your daily notes. So they're the sort of major features of Reflect, and let's see what the pricing reflects in that. See what I did there? <laughs> the pricing is $10 a month after a 14-day trial, and I believe there's actually no free plan to Reflect. They're going for a much more aggressive strategy with this, compared to applications like Obsidian and LogSeq, which have a bit more of a free open plan. Now, to be honest, I was left fairly impressed with this application. It's seemingly representation, branding, marketing, and a combination of features, seemingly smaller than others like Obsidian and LogSeq, but presenting a good alternative to applications like Craft and Mem as a simple, personal note-taking application with some good function that can give you a bit more structure to your workday. So Reflect, I'm going to give a four out of five. It's closing to a four and a half, but for this review, we only do four and five stars. <laughs> so it's gotta work its way over the five star edge. Thank you very much for stopping by in today's video. If you want to check out more productivity applications, you can find them on Toolfinder, which you can find linked below. And also make sure to subscribe to us on Keep Productive. My name is Francesco D'Alessio, and it's been a pleasure diving into this note-taking application called Reflect With You, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Cheerio, folks.